Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So first of all, chosen, I got to let you all know, your spiritual team, your angels, your ancestors, they pulling out the big guns now. They are pulling out the big guns now. Before I jump in, I want to say shout out to all of you who have been putting out beautiful energy on my behalf as many of you was able to read my uh, comment in my community page where I was letting you all know about a specific karmic who has been in my life for a very long time trying to wreak havoc um, however judgment is currently being placed upon that person it's been happening for a very long time but this that situation is a prime example of what the chosen have been facing when it comes to these disgruntled, miserable, broke and broken karmics, right? Life is life and on them, y'all. Your spiritual team has been handing their ass to them on a scorching hot platter. And these beings are very, very bitter. They're bitter about their circumstances. They sit amongst other people who are just as bitter. Their lives are crumbling before their eyes and they are so jealous and disappointed that you are being elevated every day. They monitor you, they watch you, they stalk you, they are obsessed with you chosen. And what's making them the most angry is that in spite of their efforts, you continue to rise. You continue to rise and you will continue to rise even higher. They ain't seen nothing yet, y'all. They haven't seen anything yet. You are just now beginning to touch the inheritance. You are just now beginning to get a small portion of the greater whole. They ain't seen nothing yet. Your spiritual gifts are continuing to unfold. Your voice is becoming stronger. Your power is becoming stronger. Your confidence is becoming stronger. These beings do not understand. The Most High is elevating you in ways that they cannot foresee because you have earned this. This is the time of reckoning. So your spiritual team said, all right, they want to keep playing games. We are pulling out the big boys. We are taking out the big guns. These beings don't understand spiritual warfare. They try to play around in it. <laughs> they try to play around in the energy, but they get burned every damn time because they don't recognize that you chosen, you hold the key to the universe. You hold the key, the key to alchemy, spiritual alchemy. You do because you would never pervert it. These gifts were passed down and handed to you directly because you understand how to use them with integrity. But see, while they sit around and say, you know, you chosen, you're, you're, you're this, you're that. They got a whole lot of things to say about you, right? Their life circumstances is proof. Their life circumstances is proof that the most high does not favor them. It is proof that they do not have any spiritual protection. It is proof that their karma is working against them and not for them. And they have to look in the mirror every day and realize their own truth. They put up facades for everybody around them. They laugh, they joke, they act like, you know, their, their ego is so big. But when they got to lay down at night, they can barely sleep. They got to drink their way into oblivion just to get a break, just to fall asleep, y'all. These are the most miserable beings that you will ever encounter in life. This is the time of reckoning and it cannot be avoided. Everything is being exposed. Your spiritual team is pulling out the big boys because, see, these beings don't realize. You have a lot of arsenal on them. Many of many of you have known things about these beings, right? A lot of these karmics that's in your personal space, you, you know they're skeletons. You know they're skeletons. 
And you could have been pulled out the big guns on their ass a long time ago. But you said, you know what? You're going to focus on yourself and you're going to allow karma to play out the way that it's going to play out. But see, your spiritual team, <laughs> they're like, okay, I'm, they're going to let you rest, Chosen. They're going to let you rest. They're going to let you stay focused on your mission and stay focused on your purpose. But when I tell you that they are infuriated with these karmics, not just in your personal space, but I'm talking about across the four corners of the globe, every empire, every wicked entity, every wicked being that walks the face of this earth is catching it. Hellfire on their asses. And I ain't talking about no religious hell. I'm talking about the hell that's right here on earth. This is not something that they're waiting to experience once they croak. No, they experience it right here every day that they wake up. Life is hell and miserable for them while they watch you experience your heaven here on earth. Life is bliss for you and continuing to get better. You get to have peace of mind. You get stronger by the day. You get more creative by the day. You become more wealthy by the day. Mark my words. If you don't see it in front of you now, you will see it soon. Stay on course. Do not allow these beings to distract you because they recognize that this is the time where you reap what you sow. And they are so afraid that you are going to go off and collect that harvest without them, that their major objective at this point is to try to pull you down into that hellfire with them. I'm telling you. But they will not be allowed to do it. Because your spiritual team is handling. When I say they are handling them, they are handling them. They are digging their own traps. They are digging their own graves. Many of these beings are going to end up ill. Because they have so much hatred in their heart. That their bodies are going to begin to work against them. See the soul if they have a soul is already corrupted and full of toxicity. Their spirit is low vibrational. They operate in their carnal nature. And so all of that unhealthy energy in the spiritual realm begins to bleed through their physical vessel. And it's been such a long time that they've been in this energy, just spitefully working up against good people that they will watch themselves deteriorate. Why? Because they abuse their temple any doggone way. In every measure, every way that they could possibly abuse themselves, they do. Just off the strength that they work up against you, Chosen, is self-infliction of abuse. It is a, it's them asking for an early demise, really. They're getting worse by the day. But you're getting better by the day. And so just continue to watch the scales balance, y'all. That is the law of the universe, that the scales must be balanced. And this is the time of reckoning. This is the time of I know. This is the time of the reveal. That when, when age of Aquarius, people can't say it ain't the age of Aquarius. Look around. Look around and pay attention to how much is being exposed here. Not only are you seeing people expose themselves, but chosen, you have been open enough to express all of those things about yourself that you used to loathe. Those things that you used to try to hide and keep secret. It's like, for what? That's no longer who you are. That's who you were when you was conditioned. And operating from a very asleep state, okay? You are not that person anymore. That skin was shed and gone. It is not a part of you spiritually. It is not a part of you physically. You are entirely an entirely new creature. That separation of the wheat and the tear is a very real thing. And those people, they talk like you. They walk like you. They look like you. But we are learning that these are these are beings, I don't know what they made of. <laughs> I don't know what fabric they come from. But these most certainly are not genuine, organic beings, okay? You might as well say yes, they, they come from the powers that were. 
They come from that line. Even if they are part of your bloodline, these beings, literally, it's like, they come from the powers that were for sure. A lot of them are still trying to send spell work your way chosen. But you command and demand that that energy has no way to touch you. You command and demand that it goes right back to the sender a thousand fold in whatever measure the most high sees fit. You have that authority chosen. These beings don't know who the hell they plan with out here in these spiritual and physical streets. They don't they don't even understand the power that you possess because they so busy thinking about who you used to be. You don't even respond the same way, the way that you move today, the way that you call judgment today. They would never even know that you was a part of calling that judgment, but you best believe you the one that holds the gavel. You are judge and jury here. Because the Most High said that you will be placed back into your position of authority here in the physical plane. And that you will be given your crown again in the spiritual plane. So when they, re when they receive their judgment, it's because all you had to do was say the words. See, in the past, you didn't understand the power that you possessed. So you might have cried about these things. You might have felt hurt. You might have become bitter. You might have carried a lot of resentment and unforgiveness and you might have been bogged down and heavy with the thoughts of how you was being mistreated. But now that your spiritual eyes are open, you look right through these low vibrational, inauthentic beings and you can see the demons that is housed in their temple. They ain't got no choice but to be the house of demons. Because they abuse themselves so much. That every time they do something to you, you look them square in their eye. And you ain't even got to look at them physically. You look them square in their eyes in the spiritual realm and you understand how to tell that same demon, however many is working through them. You better back down. You better sit down. Matter of fact, you better devour yourself into nothingness and get out of my energy. Okay? A lot of these beings... The only reason why they're still walking like physically alive right now is because the demons are working through them. A lot of these beings, as soon as those demons are cast out and they devour themselves, these beings are going to, they're going to completely transfer, uh, they're going to transition, okay? They're going to lose their lives, many of these beings. The only way that they can stay alive is allowing demons to possess their vessels, to possess their avatars. That's the only way that they're still alive, many of them. Because once those demons leave, the energy that is being projected out into the, the atmosphere now, the shift in the planetary alignments, the energy that's being projected from you all, the, the awakening of the ancestors, the power of your spiritual team, your angels, the fact that earth, you know, the elements are now operating on a totally different vibration. All of these things are too vibrational. They're too highly vibrational for these beings to be able to stay alive. So the only reason why many of them really are still here is because these demons house their vessels. So this is some really, really scary times for these people. And this is why they're mad at you chosen, because you out here demanding that all wicked entities, deities, uh, spirits, beings, you demanding that they get destroyed. Right. You're demanding that they turn into nothingness. You're demanding that they are judged. And so a lot of these karmics recognize that you calling judgment on low vibrational energy as a whole is directly calling judgment on them and they are terrified of what the result of that looks like so they're trying to get you to violate yourself chosen they want you to violate yourself through anger through unforgiveness through envy jealousy that's why they're trying to do things against you right now they're trying to get you to violate yourself they're trying to get you to violate this new version of who you are but it's not working if anything it's fueling that power and that that desire to continue to evolve because you understand why they're so affected by you now 
They can't help but see your greatness chosen. They can't help but see the power that you possess. It scares the hell out of these low vibrational creatures. It's scaring them to watch you rise. It's scaring them to see you gain your harvest. It is scaring them to know that everything that they tried to do to bring you down is now their reality. Let them deal with it. That's my message for you all. I love you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to y'all next time.